The USDA's Natural Resources Conservation Service can assist organic livestock and poultry producers with valuable conservation tools. Tools that preserve natural resources and biodiversity while offering valuable ecosystem services for wildlife and fish. These producers provide their animals with access to outdoors according to resilient forage-based grazing practices required in organic farming. Properly managed grazing land dramatically increases the soil's ability to acquire and retain moisture and nutrients while increasing soil organic matter and can be done organically without the addition and cost of prohibited fertilizers and pesticides. Diverse plantings on grazing lands provide livestock with a well-balanced, nutritious diet and keeps them healthy. Using season-specific plantings, like warm and cool season grasses and legumes, is also good for the ecosystem. A key feature in any forage-based system is rotational grazing. This approach breaks fields into a series of closed paddocks separated by fences. The size of these paddocks is determined by factoring the number of animals, time of year, grazing duration, and quality of available forage. Proper fencing and adequate water supplies are also a key feature of these intensively managed grazing systems. Fences can control erosion or impede animal access to sensitive areas like ponds, streams, wellheads, or protected habitat while gated paddocks can be opened and closed to quickly provide cattle with access to fresh pasture. Movable fences can also be used to continually make available fresh pasture. As these animals graze, farmers can use tools like pasture sticks to assess the quality of available forage. They can measure the optimum height and density of grasses and monitor stubble height to assure effective grazing in each paddock. When farmed organically, intensively managed rotationally grazed cattle also provide livestock producers with a variety of energy and cost savings by no longer using synthetic nitrogen and reducing or eliminating the need to transport off-site feed. And because they recycle nutrients directly in the field instead of at a feedlot, they turn manure into a valuable fertilizer instead of a contamination risk for local waterways. Farmers with excess manure can work with their local NRCS conservationists to develop a nutrient management plan tailored to their farm's specific needs. NRCS conservation plans can also help farmers develop silvopasture with extended field borders and riparian buffers to control erosion and further reduce the transport of nutrients, pesticides, pathogens, and agrochemicals into local waterways. To learn more about grazing, pasture management, diverse pasture plantings, nutrient management plans, and related livestock conservation practices such as watering facilities, contact your local NRCS office where we can help you help your land organically. <laughs>